This is the viral probe lens that you have seen many videos about. Now my question is, can this probe lens go up against one of these? What is this? Actually a earwax remover. Now this you can buy in Shopee for only 15. Now they both basically work the same. They have the same front lighting systems. They have both macro functions, basically means that it focuses very close. Now you may ask why this video? So in today's video, we're going to be comparing the differences between this big production scale probe lens and that of a ill wax remover. Now why such an oddity in this video? Well, content, duh, has a light right here that you can actually light up. So if I remove the power from this, right, we kill the light here and let me just plug the power right here. You should notice something. This has light as well. So now this has light, and this has light. And this goes to macro, that means focusing very close. This does the same. It does for earwax, it does the same. So can I basically take videos and compare side by side the differences between the 7000 and 15, and can you tell the differences between these two? Hmm, let's find out. So interestingly enough, if your client comes to you and says, you know what, they have really low budget, get an earwax remover. But if your clients come in and say, you know what, I could, I'm willing to spend thousands. So let's compare these two side by side and let's see what are the differences in the specifications. So we'll talk about the earwax remover first. That's so funny. So on the box of the earwax remover, uh, it says HD. Ain't nothing HD about this. So first things first, it's not 720p. Uh, it's possibly 480. So how do I know this? I, I basically use Windows and I every time when I have to use this, I have to plug into my computer and in my computer, the system registers at 480p at 30 frames. I'm locked there. So when it comes to resolution wise, this is pretty poor. You weren't going to get a clear HD shot out from using an EOX remover, hence the price. Now this guy pretty much depends on what your body is rocking. So if you're using the 90D like me, you basically have access to 4K. You have access to 1080p at 120 frames per second. So you can take pretty slow-mo kind of videos in which this one couldn't. So if you want to get a slow-mo video of a macro shot of say a pouring cup of water, this is probably your option you want to buy for. And when it comes down to resolution, one point goes to the probe lens. But again, you're not only spending 7,000 for this lens, you're basically paying for the body, for the lens, for the fluid head, for the electronic slider. You're looking easily about, realistically, you need about 14,000 to get this to work. You need to buy the prop lens, you need to buy a decent body, a fluid head tripod, on top of a Z-Pod Micro Mini 2, the cheapest electronic slider you can get, plus the spider arms, and a power bank. For 14,000 versus 15. So in terms of price, of course, this has to win the negotiations. One point to the EOX remover. Now let's talk about ease of use. Which of these are easier to use? None of them get this point because, you know, if I want to set this up, again, I need a DSLR, I need SD cards, batteries, etc, etc. It's gonna cost a lot of money. But once you have set up all this system, it's actually pretty much easy. You can actually bring this out handheld outdoors, which I did before. Now this on the other hand is cheap but you need to plug into a laptop or computer to see what you're filming. That's the challenge. So none of these get the point for ease of use. So the probe lens, being able to shoot light out from the tip of this lens is amazing. You basically can reduce the amount of light that you want to enter. If, even if you want to shoot say inside... I'm sorry, my dog is calling me. Okay, come. Point off. So now let's move on to the point of the LEDs on the front. Dude. So now let's move on to the point on the LEDs on these two systems. You have LEDs here and you have LEDs here. The LEDs on this probe lens is immense. It's so bright that I literally look right into it to get this shot of my eye 
and I legit got blinded for almost 30 minutes. Even if I close my eyes, I can see that burn of light. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what she's doing. So even though I had like this, this light shining to my eye, I, I legit burned my eye. For 30 minutes, I had to recover. If I close my eyelids, I can still see that white light in my eye. But this one, on the other hand, it didn't really burn my eyes. So safe to say, the LEDs on this one gets a point. So coming from the fact that you will have to pay 14,000 for this system to work, that's a lot of money compared to you only spending 15 for this. But again, like this is just a content video, like you won't be shooting this on a client shoot now, will you? So for this matter of points, none of them should get the point. But if you really do insist, unhesitantly on paper, this is cheaper. So point goes to the earwax remover. Okay, so in conclusion, what do I think of the probe lens and the earwax remover? It's awesome to have a $15 memeable product on Shopee to be able to go up against a filming monster beast such as the probe lens. It's an honor to be doing this video because the idea came to me when I was just thinking of what should I shoot with this. And you know, looking at the footage side by side, you can already tell one's so bad and the other one's so much way better. So there's just no comparison between these two. Absolutely go for the probe lens when you're strictly shooting for videos and go for the earwax remover when you're strictly removing earwax from your ears. <laughs> That's pretty much it. My name is Roderick. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other further questions, please let me know. And if you want to support this channel, kindly head over out to Pond5. Pond5 is where I upload all my stock footage which I've shot on this probe lens. It helps me to earn a little bit buck or two if you want to buy these videos and uh, put them onto your own videos or put them on your own passion project. License them. Do whatever you want. You pay them, you get them, right? Uh, or if you don't want to pay for these videos, you can basically just subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot as I'm trying to grow my channel up and I'm trying to get out from this house so that I don't have to run into my dog filming for you guys. Crying or not? Crying or not? Is that right? She's always disturbing me when I'm filming. That's, that's, that's the one thing that I get so annoying. <sighs> Alright, British Shiman, thank you so much for watching. My name is Roderick and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!